Hello YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome and if you are a returning viewer, thank you all so much for the continued support. So today's video, we are going to get into my tray for June. Um, I mean, pretty much summer is here, <laughs> especially where I live. We've already gotten up to like, I want to say we had like a 90 degree day or like really close to it, super high 80s. Um, so it is definitely time to bring out those fragrances that scream summer, even though it's not quite officially here. So if you would like to see what I will be wearing in heavy rotation for the month of June, then just keep watching. So let's start on this side of the tray. Now this one is, is pricey, okay? It's a Kriegler, but when I tell you that this was like the first citrus, um, you know, green citrus fragrance that I feel so in love with. I was not really a fan of citrus um, at the start of my journey. Still probably the least favorite, you know, as far as like scent profiles and, and fragrance style, but this one just hits different. <laughs> this is very green, but the green is from green tea. So it's not, you know, going to be anything off putting or sharp or, you know, like an Angelica or, you know, I would say a challenging green. Some people find green notes to be really challenging and I would not say um that this is a challenging scent i think it's you know these juicy uh citruses i think like bergamot or something like that is like the main citrus component to this but in kriegler fashion it's just done on another level it is so beautiful the longevity is it's moderate i mean it's a citrus so that you have to understand you guys like when, when we say a citrus fragrance it's not going to last it literally it's not going to give you you know, eight to 10 hours typically because citrus is a top note. Like it is literally, and what do you lose first in a fragrance? The top notes. That's why they're at the top. <laughs> so it doesn't have the best longevity, but I would say a good five hours I and mean, then you're going to have to top it off. But that's just something that you should come to expect. There are, you know, some exceptions and some anomalies, but on a whole, that is just what you dealing with when you're talking about a citrus so this is a phenomenal uh green citrus floral fragrance and again this is charming california 215 from the house of kriegler all right so let's get into this baby right here why was y'all holding out why did y'all not reveal to me and tell me and let me know that i should have gotten no Benny nectar as soon as it was released i mean this thing is so so beautiful i am obsessed in love and i hate when i say i hate that they only have these 30 meals because it will absolutely be a repurchase once this one is done um wow okay so this is definitely like the original however it is just a much like richer deeper um but still has an airiness to it wearing experience if that makes any sense at all if you if you have the og or if you tried it you will get it like that is a boozy vanilla um there are some spices in there some citruses but it's like a vanilla that is boozy that you can wear all year because of the way it wears and this one is no exception but i just feel like this one is got this you know this beautiful creamy sandalwood it's woodier it's a little sweeter to me it has more depth and it is just a phenomenal vanilla fragrance so if you're a vanilla lover okay please do not sleep on this um check the description box because you can actually save 10 percent on uh, all the fragrances from the house if you order direct from emika love all right again that is no Benny nectar next is a newer one to my collection and this is a uh, uh, Lang Lang Nosy B. And you guys, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. Like, I have played around with a couple of really, um, I, I don't want to say, I want to say popular yellow florals that people are really getting into for this summer. You know, it was 2023. And I'm just really not impressed. Still, I feel like Ylang and Gold is the wow you know, the wow factor, um, 
yellow floral it, and you do get a lot of gourmand elements from that one maybe that's why i feel that way about this one but this one is a lot more floral it's uh a lang lang in all three you know of uh, components of the fragrance the top the mid and the you know the base you have cardamom which i i guess i was hoping for something a little deeper spicier and i'm not really getting that it's got like denim in it i'm not picking up on any of that like i thought this would be a, a richer wearing floral experience but we've we've tried her and i'm just not a fan so she may be on her way out even though she just got here <laughs> um it's sweet it's cute it's floral but i wasn't wild okay so next one is a gorge when i say a gorgeous oud for warmer weather you guys this is a, oud, a rose oud combo and this is uh enigma oud from rosa dove and it's a oud that is not going to wear too heavy it has a gorgeous peach note and i get like really fruity peachy from here so if you look at fragrantica it has fruity like kind of listed toward the very bottom of the uh the you know the what do you call it not pyramid yeah i guess <laughs> when they break down all of the accords it's like at the bottom but maybe it's because it's so heavy on the geranium and geranium can lean like really fruity lemony um a limity type uh you know facet to the floral but this one is very fruity and rose oody to me okay so if you're looking for a oud that is just this is a spectacular fragrance again one that is perfect for warm weather because it doesn't wear too heavy rose oud um and done in just a very elegant you know, exquisite Roja de Fashion. Definitely check this one out. You can get this deeply discounted at Joma Shop. So make sure you do um, check the description. Hopefully they have this one in stock because I think they just had a Roja Dove sale, if I'm not mistaken. But hopefully this one is still in stock because you can definitely uh, save on your Roja Doves buying from Joma Shop. All right, so let's get over here to, I hope y'all don't hear my computer running in the background. OMG, let me hurry up. <laughs> this is love to rose i think this was my very first and wash purchase oh probably a year and a half ago you guys this is one of the most beautiful tuberose scents out there it is so it's like whipped cream tuberose it's sweet it's almost linen gourmand but it wears you know definitely tuberose definitely heady <laughs> white floral um, but I just feel like the way they have done the whipped cream and it's like a little powdery and it's just sweet and it's, uh, it is just so, so gorgeous. If you love tuberose, definitely check this one out because this whole line in the, in the range of Bomb Wash, it, I feel like these are some of the more less challenging scents, um, even less challenging than Guidance, um, but yeah, if you're trying to get into the house of Amwash, I would say start with this collection. So it's this one, it's Blossom Love, Lilac Love, um, and I think Love Mimosa. Try those and go from there if you're new to the house because this one, it, if you love tuberose, I think you will love this. If you're on the fence about tuberose or not a tuberose fan, this is probably not going to be for you <laughs> but i just find that this is a gorgeous easy to wear tuberose fragrance and that again is love on wash all right so next up we have another green fragrance and this is from the house of suspiro this one you guys is a cento viola so to my understanding this is different from the regular a cento uh by zerjoff they have different perfumers Though I think fragrance can list the same notes for both. This one is undoubtedly a very fresh. I don't know how the other one wears because I've never experienced it. The regular Achento, but Achento Viola is very green. It has a very prominent hyacinth note. And though it's a purple floral, it is very green in nature, period. So if you like your fresher fragrances to come from a green note, this one is is one you need to check out it is pineapple but it is not super sweet pineapple like overripe you know like a hachavad or a lamar it is less sweet but there is still some sweetness to it so just think a pineapple that just became you know ripe or a little underripe you've got some green notes it's a little powdery it's very fresh and this one is just 
such an easy grab and if you want to you know have this fruity floral thing going but you don't want it to be too sweet this one is one i highly recommend it's gorgeous all right next up is the good girl orza orza did not get enough wares last summer and we are about to change that because this one is so freaking gorgeous you've got like this green apple i think in here you got quite a few fruits but Definitely a fruity concoction drizzled in caramel. That is what you are getting. Amazing performance. But this one is, I'm talking about, you got to love it sweet. If you don't love it sweet, don't collect 200, don't pass go. Because this will probably give you a stomach ache if you're not one into those super sweet fragrances. But, oh, it is just so delicious. And... I would say it's gourmand leaning, not full on gourmand because you do get a lot of the caramel, but I feel like this is more of like your, your sweet fruity floral, uh, fragrance just with a heavy dose of that caramel in there. Again, that is Orza by Tatiana Terenzi. All right, you guys. So next up is Paint Me Up. Oh, so so beautiful and though this came out a few months ago i feel like it's really starting to pick up and get some shine um you know in the youtube streets this is a gorgeous fragrance from atelier de source and this one is champagne it is blackberry and it is rose okay so if you're looking for a really easy to like niche fragrance that is perfect really all year because i was wearing this baby out in the winter so don't let the notes be deceiving it wears very sweet it's got some powdery facets to it very feminine um and like the way they have designed this bottle it really does capture the essence of this fragrance i love it a fruity rose that you know has that champagne bubbly effervescence and again that is pink me up by atelier de source now if you're looking for one that's going to blow your socks off, <laughs> that is going to be a very unique fragrance to your collection and you're looking for something fruity, then this is the one. Taka Jour is from Pearl Essence and this is literally champagne and champagne and champagne in here, okay? But it's so sweet. It's so sweet. If you, if you like, like fizzy, um... And it's got blueberry, you guys. If you're looking for a unique blueberry scent or you're looking for more blueberries to add in your collection, this has a note of blueberry compote. And when I tell you, the blueberries are all up in the pot of sugar and they're boiling over. Oh, just think about that. And think about a heavy dose of tonka. And think about champagne. Like, that is literally what you're getting out of this fragrance. It is so bold and delicious and almost beast mode. I would say this is beast mode, okay? This is a very strong wearing fruity summer scent. So if you are looking for a fruity fragrance with these very, very warm facets, you know, with from the Tonka and just this very warm base, this is one you need to check out. I was absolutely in love with this one from the first time I got my nose on it. Um, this was sent over to me by the brand. Um, but y'all, I've just been really enjoying my pearlescent perfumes. Again, the sister company to Gallagher. So if you felt like the Gallagher's, which is all leaning just a hair masculine, check out the pearlescents because these were literally designed to be, you know, a little bit more on the feminine side, but still have that amazing Gallagher performance. All right. So last but not least is going to be Imperial Peacock. Now, I know what you're thinking. Summer? Yes. Okay. Because this rhubarb is so prominent, it gives it just this air of fruity summer vibe. This wears great all year, but this is very heavy on cinnamon, very heavy on the vanilla. This dry down is so sexy and delicious. I'm telling you, I love this one. And I'm going to give it some more wears this summer. Like this one at first for me was more winter fall because it does wear a little thick, um, a little sweet, very heavy on the vanilla, like I said, in that cinnamon. But it's calling my name, okay? And so I'm going to still be wearing this one out for, um, you know, late spring and into summer, probably more so for evenings out. Um, this has great performance. People smell this on you. And I just feel like it gives me, you know, that good all day wear, at least eight hours. So if you're looking for a spicy cinnamon, you know, rhubarb uh, fragrance, 
different. Like, I feel like the rhubarb really makes it different. It's very strong in the beginning, which was off-putting to me when I first got this. But wait for this to dry down. Wait a good 15 minutes um, if you feel like the rhubarb is too much and then really take it in. And I think you will really love this. If you love cinnamon and vanilla, honey, this is a no-brainer, okay? <laughs> Again, that is uh, Imperial Peacock. This is from the House of Alexander J. All right, you guys, so this is the tray. What are, are your thoughts? What are you going to be wearing in June? These are my picks. Of course, I will be wearing more than just these, but these are ones that I feel like I want to give a lot of attention to um, because they're a vibe. <laughs> and I don't want to, like, have them in my collection and forget to wear them or because, like, this one I love, but I haven't worn in a while. So this is the purpose of a tray. You don't have to confine yourself only to these, but... Multiple times in June, we're going to get some wears out of these, all right? So that's our video for today. You guys, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure the notification bell is set to all. And last but not least, make sure that you do give the video a big thumbs up. It's real. I love you all, you too, and I will catch you guys on the next one.